Hi everyone, nice to be with you. Got a small thought for you today around mindset. So this stink situation that you've got in front of you, this real difficult, challenging situation, maybe it's in your leadership responsibility, maybe it's with your team, they hate you, <laughs> maybe it's with your family, there's some challenges and difficulties you've got going on for you. This situation that you have going on, maybe it's not as bad as what you think it is. Hang on, before you go, Steve, you have no idea about my situation. If we were in a room together and there was 20 of us, and you got people to think about what's the crappiest situation that's taken place for you in the last three months, and to write down how you feel about that situation, we don't even know what the narrative is or what the story is, but the feelings you've had about that situation, this would really surprise you. Everyone has really similar feelings about the stuff that they're not enjoying. We are not alone in our feelings. We are not alone in our feelings. That's point number one. We think it's just us. It's not true. Everyone else is experiencing stuff at the same time. But here's my second step. So firstly, we're not alone. Step number two, what if there's an equal corollary through that difficult situation out the other side, there's a positive corollary that as we work through that, there's some gold and goodness at the end of it. What if there's that possibility? Because everything's a case study, right? Will and Ariel Durant did some studies of 7,000 years of human history, and they discovered in those studies, or one of the main threads out of the 11 volumes was this, that the hero, you and I, are the product of the situation rather than the situation being the product of the hero. <laughs> so the crappy situation for us is actually what's the shaping of the hero of us. So that's step number two, or that's aspect number two. Number three, you think about Dr. Viktor Frankl in terms of his experiences in a Nazi concentration camp. He survived three, all his family was killed in them. He had, through the difficulty and the challenge, he used uh, primarily imagination and visualization about lecturing on the very torturous experiences he was having in the future, which helped create meaning for him in the challenges that he was confronting and facing. So you're thinking, well, that's great, Steve. You've given me three pieces there. I'm not alone. Actually, the situation might be shaping me to be the hero and there can be learnings and growth we squeeze out of it. So that's great. Now, what do I actually do with this? Fantastic question. Thank you for asking. Step number one, remember, remember, others are going through stuff as well. Write that down. It's not just me. Step number two, remember that every situation is a case study. And what can I learn from this situation? What can I learn? You might think there's nothing good here I can learn. Do the digging, do the work, find what I can learn. And then step number three, what is the small, simple steps I can take each day, I don't take five minutes or 10 minutes, to move the needle on the situation? What are the small, simple steps I can take and take action on those? Okay, that's me, Steve out.